on defending the night sandwich. Yeah, absolutely. Minnesota Lynx and Chicago Sky games tip off an aura to Simone Augustus and Sylvia Fowles, college teammates during their Louisiana State University days. Fowles vividly remembers Simone's greeting in the first professional duel, won by the Lynx 75 to 69. I was happy that we had the opportunity to meet on different teams, but at the same time I was mad because they beat us and she was just doing us all wrong. It's not a lot of us LSU people in the league as it is, so whenever we have a chance to play against each other, it's like um, our time to shine. You know, uh, I know what she can do on the court, she know what I can do on the court. It's, it's our time to like prove ourselves not only to each other, but to, you know, the, the fans out here. They want to see who the, who the best Lady Tiger is, just like, you know, the, 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 the competition between Diana and Mike. Everybody wants to know who's the best, you know, Husky player. When they see each other, it's like they see each other for the first time. They are genuinely excited to see each other hang out and have a good time because of the respect they have and the like factor that's involved. They like each other. Our chemistry that we that we developed, it developed, I, I believe, when um, Coach Gunner, um, you know, went down with her illness. Uh, Coach Chapman had to step in, and uh, from that day forward, it was like we we had a bond, like we were we were on a mission together to uh, achieve greatness and to bring LSU uh, to the top. We all winners in some kind of aspect. Um, we all sore losers. We all hate to lose. <laughs> and. Um, but it was good just being around them two in that atmosphere I'm, and just wanting to win and play hard to the best of your ability. I don't think I could choose the better place to go. They're the same. They, they're real. They have a respect. It's, it's like teammates. It's like big sister, little sister. Uh, it's like family. Everybody had the same personality. Um, we were some similar in all our own ways. And we just wanted to win. And like I said, everybody wanted to work for it. With the addition of Sylvia, uh, it just made our team that much better. Um, throughout my four years there, you know, I enjoyed every moment of uh, being coached by, by Coach Chapman and being able to play with one of the best centers um, ever in uh, Sylvia Files. It's just a great experience and, uh, you know, a great time in my life. I get goosebumps just thinking about them and watching them grow and how they represent their hometowns, their high school, their college, you know, the U.S., their respective WNBA teams. Uh, they're both cornerstones, franchise players, and they've handled it well. And I told someone, you know, it, it, they didn't just come out of the womb great players. You know, they put in the work, but they're also quality people. They're good teammates. They're coachable. Uh, and I think those are the intangibles that, you know, that are, that's leading them to be the top players of the game. Fowles is evolving to fearsome status in her fourth WNBA season, earning her third consecutive All-Star appearance this year. Fowles has 16 double-doubles this season, already passing her old career high of 15 a year ago. Augustus's return to form in 2011 after multiple injuries was highlighted by tying Diana Tarazi for crossing 3,000 career points in the fewest games. You think about that and you think about the injury she had in the games she did not play. Uh, she's a tremendously talented player. Simone is a very, 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 very extraordinary player, I think, um, but I'm happy for her, uh, LSU Go Tigers, and I just hope the, the best for her and the rest of her career, and I hope she keep pushing forward and getting better each year. I had the privilege of watching her when she was in middle school, so I'm not surprised, uh, extremely proud of her. Uh, I mean, she's looking like the player that we all know. Uh, I'm glad she got that 3,000 points before this game, and maybe she'll have a letdown. <laughs> Simone is just Simone. She's not like any other player. You can like put a mark on it and say she's like this person. She's herself and um, she just plays her game and like she don't make it hard upon herself and she just do what she have to do. Uh, but that type of intensity, I think it could be motivating for Sylvia to see someone that she's so close to go through a tough time, you know, the knee, the abdominal surgery and the comeback and be the leader of a team that's the best in the league. Uh, so I just think they'll bring out the best of each other from here on out. As a post player, she's the best post player to ever, you know, come through LSU. And, and for me, you know, I'm just one of the best, one of the um, the great guards that's come through there. We've had numerous great guards that's come through LSU, from Marie Ferdinand, Tamika Johnson, uh, Pokey Chapman. I mean, the list goes on. She don't talk as much. She just always rather lead by example. But just to see her out there talking to her team and leading her team in different ways, just by, I mean, just by showing by example. Uh, 
it means a lot. Um, just to see her grow in that aspect is, is a good thing. Now, I can remember in college when we were just like lobbing the ball to her for lobs and stuff like that. And now you can see where she's developed the outside game. She can step off the block and score. She's, um, you know, redefined her inside game as far as making moves and being able to shoot over the right shoulder, left shoulder. The challenge with Sylvia is I'm a big player. I'm a powerful player. I can affect both ends of the floor. And I think she's improved her range. She's tr improved her free throw shooting. I don't want to jinx her. But I remember in Russia, she would come in before practice, after practice, just shoot, shoot, shoot. So it's nice to see the fruits of her labor finally being recognized. She's more versatile now compared to when, when we first got together in college. Um, and, and it's just great to see her develop as a player and as a pro. She knows what to expect. Uh, she didn't have to learn a whole lot of newness in terms of my expectations and practice and uh, my approach to video and learning and teaching and expectations. I think it was easy for her to understand that and take it from me and to the other players. And from the basketball standpoint, I think it was something a little bit easier for her. Fowles also didn't spend much effort bringing her old college coach to Chicago. I was excited because I had input and just to be back with her again, um, it meant a lot because I was uh, familiar with her style of play and I just wanted to go back out there and get to the things that I was used to doing. Obviously, Sylvia here uh, and obviously the opportunity to coach Epiphany in Russia. Uh, so I had a, a peep into the possibilities in terms of players, but I mean, I would be telling a lie if I didn't say it didn't have a lot to do with it. It's Sylvia, you know her. Uh, it's Sylvia, she's a franchise player. She's one of the best in the world. Uh, I would be foolish to not be attracted to that. She's very loud and outspoken. She lets you know what she want, when she want it done and how she want it done. So uh, she kind of set the tone early on at the first practice and ever since then the team responded well. The biggest adjustment was the 34 games in 90 days. It's always a, a matter of do I practice, do I rest, reps or rest. So we try to get that part figured out, but it's been good. She doesn't sugarcoat many things uh, at all. Uh, she, she lets you know what, what you need to work on. Either you're going to work on it or you're not. And, and from there, she's going to determine what she needs to do. But she's going to put our team in the best possible position to be successful by putting the best players on the court, uh, regardless of, um, of anything else. And, that, and that's what separates her from other coaches. She's very positive with her team, win or loss. Um, she always has good stuff to say. And she just keeps us motivated and keep going after us. She makes us fight. Chapman's motivation may have aided Augustus's transformation from shy and reserved to Minnesota's comic relief figure. When you get a chance, ask Shimon to dance in front of the camera. Can I, can I please have the special guest? <coughs> <laughs> she just swore she knew how to dance for some reason, but she was a terrible dancer and the worst dancer ever. And she still thinks she can dance till today, but that's still not the case. We all had goofy personalities at LSU. Um, everybody was pranksters on the team. She always been goofy, but on her own time. You name it, she got it. DJ Way. DJ Way. Ricka, ricka. <laughs> Maya. Oh, yeah. Say it with me, say it with me, you know, from the start of the game, what we say? Maya. More. <laughs> so, uh, no matter how fierce Augustus, Chapman, and Fowles will compete in the next several years, Chapman's composition of chemistry is never invisible with her former LSU Tigers. They have great respect for one another. They have respect for the game. Uh, they're unselfish, you know. You don't get that. They share the basketball. Simone understood her role. Sylvia understood that. And it's nice to see uh, when they share a common goal, see them working together. And you can tell because they still have that respect for one another after they leave and they continue to stay in touch. They played together last year in Turkey. If there's something that you want and there's something that you want to proceed to, to do, uh, just continue to work hard and know that you can, you're the only one who can stop yourself. Pogue Seal, you know, I got so much love for you. Um, you know, thank you for everything that you've done for me in my career and bettering me as a person and as a player. Uh, much appreciated and, um, you know, good luck to you for the rest of the season. Mike Peden, DSB Sports.